conscious mind. Okay. <laughs> so your, your subconscious mind is more of an automatic pre-recorded energy because your subconscious mind will include all the emotions, even the primitive ones. Like for example, if you see a snake, have you ever thought that you've seen the snake and then get a fright? Mm. Mm. But it's not a snake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So many times I've been walking, and my, I know my eyesight's not that great, but I'll walk and I see, and that's literally the subconscious mind that kicks you to save you. It's bouncing. So if you've done this a lot, you will find that your energy starts, even Glennis, when she touches the pendulum, her energy goes immediately. And I must tell you, in the beginning, I Show me my ears. Show me my ears. Show me my ears. Daniel, you each do your own personal things. Okay. What do you want? Uh, I want to travel the world. No. Not I want to travel the world. So we're going to make it. I am traveling the world. I am traveling the world. There you go. And you've got to feel it. And you've got to say I'm traveling the world because you've been to Cape Town, you've been here, and you're going to go to next places. You can't do it all in 24 hours. But I'm traveling the world. <laughs> so you make that statement. I am traveling the world and loving every moment. Uh, I'm traveling the world and loving every moment. Is that your statement? I think so, yes. So you don't want to say I want to gain, so what you say? I understand and love my life. Is that okay? And feel it. I understand it. you demand it because there's nobody else in your skin, only you. Your body knows. You've used the pendulum, you saw your energy. Don't come and make stories now. You are powerful beyond what you realize. I absolutely understand and love my life. I've learned um, how important it is to be able to manage your energy and be in control of it. Um, I've learned how important it is to be honest with yourself and the people around you. I learned that your body can give a lot of answers. I learned the importance of positivity and thinking of what you want, what you really want. Lot and like, uh, I've to process through all the information, but there's like so much I've learned. There's one of the things that I learned today is that the heart, it, heart's energy is stronger than the brain, which is actually something I didn't expect at all, but is very interesting. Um, I found it interesting that uh, whether you think of a yes or a no, uh, subconsciously your body can tell you the answer by giving off different types of energy. Uh, I learned how powerful the subconscious is, more powerful than we can even imagine. Mm. I learned that how powerful the subconscious is and how it can alter the decisions you take in life, especially with the, with the pendulum. The toxicity of shame is fascinating to me, um, especially given that in the past I thought that it could be used as a learning experience. I think that guilt can be a valuable learning experience sometimes but shame should be avoided because it leads to more toxic behavior. No, um, I like the magic, how you make a wish and you can actually see how just changing future things into, okay, I'm doing this now, I am traveling, or I'm actually accomplishing my goal step by step. I learned about pendulums and how you can use your body as a pendulum and how animals can also feel guilt like human beings. I've learned that how powerful it is for the body and the mind to be connected by energy, either negative or positive. Um, yeah, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I learned how it is um, not only important, but also, you know, okay to be open and vulnerable about uh, our everyday struggles and, uh, you know, just hardships of life.